What's up guys? Today we are going to prep the griddle top and get it seasoned up and everything. But first I gotta clean this thing. So I've got a uh, bottle of detergent here. Basically some Dawn Ultra diluted down with some water. I'm gonna use this to kind of clean all the oils and crap off and then I'm gonna heat this thing up, let it burn off uh, as well and then we will start putting our seasoning on. But yeah, this is the final step before I actually start cooking on this guy. So let's get a close up on this and uh, get her cleaned up. All right, right now the griddle is off, which is what I want. I just wanna spritz some of this cleaner on here and give it a good wipe down. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. It's got a really nice texture on this griddle, by the way. It's like not quite as smooth as the member's mark that I had was. It's definitely got a texture to it. So it's going to go through and wipe it down. All right, that's one. We're going to go again with another coat. Basically, you can see our towels leave a little lint behind. It's okay, we'll squeegee that all off with the rinse. Once I do the rinse. I have a scraper. I bought the uh, griddle tools, Halo griddle tools, and they have a squeegee on one of the scrapers and I'm gonna squeegee this stuff off. But look at all that lint. All right, next I'm gonna take some water here. Just kind of squirt it all over the griddle top. A heavy about heavy amount of it. I want to get all that water off or all that soap off. Just push it into the grease tray. The little squeegee tool on this scraper. I'm gonna scrape some of it too. I still have to level this griddle after I'm done. I'm gonna blot it so I don't get try to reduce the amount of lint I get on the griddle. If I drag it across this griddle surface, it's gonna leave lint everywhere again. Let's see if I can scrape some of it off here. Start with this middle burner here. In the right, the left. Which way hit the. I'll take a look underneath, see if we got flame. Yep, all three burners are lit. I'm gonna crank this up to all eight burners. Let this thing get up to temperature. Always good to have one of these as well. Little temperature, remote temperature, laser uh, readers. You can kind of see how hot the griddle gets. Already hitting up in the hundreds. Let's see. Getting up there.
All right, guys, for this particular seasoning job, I'm just going to use this Blackstone brand triple, uh, or this griddle seasoning. I call it triple because there's a lot of different oils in this. Uh, you don't have to use all these different oils. I just decided I'm going to. So I just want to bake this in real good uh, with these different oil blends that's in here. And the oil blends that are in here is uh, palm oil shortening, uh, beeswax, palm oil, canola oil, and soy oil. So we're going to use those and we're going to season in this griddle and get it nice and ready to cook on. So let's go ahead and do this. Now the instructions say uh, for a 36 inch griddle we need three tablespoons. So I got my little tablespoon guy here. You can use vegetable oil or whatever you got on hand so you don't have to use this stuff. I just decided to use this stuff. So. Come on. I'm going to smear this across first and then do some more. Give me a paper towel. Take my tongs. Just kind of spread this oil all over the griddle top. Real thin coat. Do the sides. In the back. In the top. Anywhere you think you get rust, just do everywhere. I'm going to do the middle and the side here. All right, let's go ahead and do it over here too. Smear it across everywhere. Radiating the heat pretty good now. I'm just gonna let this stuff smoke off. All right, do another tablespoon of this stuff. See it's starting to brown up on there, getting some seasoning going. That's what we're looking for, a nice dark color to form. Back to you when we're done, we're going to do three coats on here and then uh, we should be well seasoned. Hi guys. 
first coat's done, let's go ahead and do another coat. I'll probably go through most of this jar doing this. There's one. So it's already melting anyways pretty good in this Texas heat. So, take my little towel again and spread the grease around. Round two. Try not to let it go down into the grease trough. I still need to level this thing. So, that's why everything's Everything, I do want everything to run to the back, but not while I'm doing this. I want everything to kind of stay on the grill. <laughs> so, we're just gonna go through and grease her up real good. I have the burners off right now because there's a lot of residual heat, but I will kick the burners back on here in a minute. Uh, they said three tablespoons of this stuff for your griddle. I don't think you need that much. I think two tablespoons is plenty as you can see. Got quite a bit to coat the griddle here. And the back, and the top, and the top over here. Just do every bit of steel. In the back over here as well. I'm just gonna throw one more white up on this. And you see it's still smoking pretty good and I haven't even got the burners on. That's how much, how well this thing holds heat. <laughs> I'm gonna push the oil. Need a little bit of lint from the paper towel, of course, because it's unavoidable. Get a new paper towel. You will go through paper towels when you're seasoning your griddle. You'll go through paper towels when you're cooking on a griddle in general. So anyways, I'm gonna give this one more wipe. Get this back wall a wipe. All this stuff pooling in the corners. Kinda wanna spread it across as well. Let's see where we're at on temp on the griddle before I decide to kick the burners back on. Yep, I guess we can turn the burners back on. And they're all back on. I'm digging the little pee poles. I can see my flame. <laughs> Just gonna kick it back up the high on all of them. And let it burn in. We'll do one more coat. All right, coat number three. You can see it's gotten real nice and dark all around. That's how it should look. This one's going to be a thin coat as well. I'm going to do four coats on this thing. And then uh, see how this goes. So in closing for this video, um, you want to, I don't care what griddle you have. This one especially, I just want to take really good care of this one. This one was not a cheap one. Uh, but even your cheapy ones. It's super essential you get a good baked in coat on your griddle. That way you have like kind of that non-stick surface going on. You don't have to use near as much oil when you cook. And also um, it just protects it from rust and all the moisture in the air and everything that will cause that rust. So, and then after every cook you want to keep it coated. But I just wanted to demo seasoning the Halo griddle in particular. Like I said, in this particular griddle, uh, you can turn the burners on, get them real hot start seasoning and get a lot of smoke but if you start to see like a ton of smoke you might want to like dial it back even kill the burners and just let that residual smoke kind of settle down a bit and then crank them back up and because this thing holds heat so well uh it's not like uh your your traditional riddles this thing radiates heat really well it's very thick um as i demoed in the other video it's it's a beast 
and you, it holds heat incredibly well. So you don't need to leave your burners on all the time with it, when you're, uh, even when you're cooking with it apparently. I'll be able to speak more from that experience as I cook with it. But that's the end of this video. I uh, hope it's been informative. I hope this helps you season your griddle. Um, I did four coats on it initially, and uh, as I cook and clean it and everything, I'll do more coats afterwards just to protect it. So anyways, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.